The Barefoot Executive is definitely an interesting concept. I didn't love the film, but I think that's partly because I'm not a big fan of chimpanzees and they do feature quite a lot in films from Disney around this time and I've never been that interested in them as characters. So for me that wasn't really a pull factor, but it wasn't it wasn't an unwatchable film. And we did have some good performances. The narrative developed fairly well. This was released in 1971, directed by Robert Butler, and I believe there was actually like a, a more recent version of this. I haven't seen the more recent one, I think it was in the 90s, so I can't compare it, but if you do have any thoughts on that, please feel free to share those. But this stars Kurt Russell as Stephen Post, and Post uh, works uh, as a mailroom clerk, and he ends up looking after this chimpanzee. I won't say exactly how it happens, but it kind of makes sense. It didn't feel too forced. And it turns out that this chimp has this amazing ability to pick hit TV shows. The chimp starts to watch TV shows that other people, including Post, may not think would be successful, but they turn out to have the best ratings. And Post uses this to his advantage in the workplace. And... Honestly, that's about it. That's as much as happens. But it's not exactly dull as such. It's not like I found the narrative wasn't able to sustain itself. But at the same time, it definitely did at times lean into this gimmick of this chimp who can pick good TV shows. And because I wasn't that interested in that character, I, uh, I, I didn't really find it very interesting. So... It's kind of hard for me to judge because I didn't think it was a bad film as such. The pacing was fine, generally. The characters, well, the, the human characters were interesting enough. It was very well acted. Of course, I have to say, even though I don't really care about chimpanzees, I don't, I find them, I, I, I find any kind of chimps and apes and monkeys and things just a little bit unnerving. I, when I go to zoos, I don't, I don't like going near them. I don't know what it is. But this is a kind of similar feeling I get with this. But that's obviously not the, the film's fault. And I have to say the performance of the chimp, whose real name I don't actually know. If anybody knows who performed as the chimp, please feel free to share that information. But yeah, the chimp's performance was absolutely fine. Just not something I personally found to be um, pleasant. So it's not a bad film in itself. It's not perfect, though. It's not like it's the most action-packed or the most eventful or the most fascinating. But there's nothing specific about it that I think could have been done differently. So I think it's just not my kind of film. I, you, I mean, I love films that are about TV shows or films that are about films. I tend to find those really fascinating, or at least something I'm drawn to. That aspect of it was okay. I quite enjoyed that side of it. But the rest of it, it was just, it was fine. Needless to say, it hasn't spurred any deep emotions in me, either joy or, you know, rage or, or anything. So... I'm not that bothered. It's very much an average film for me. Would I recommend it? As a film in its own, I'd say it's an easy watch. So if you're looking for something that's, you know, a blast from the past, um, definitely feels like a product of its time, um, that's very easy to watch and doesn't really take much concentration, then it's not a bad choice. But it wouldn't be my first choice of film to recommend. However, if you're planning on watching all of Disney's films, which is why I watched this, then there are worse films you could pick. So, yeah, I'm pretty much on the fence with whether or not I'd recommend it. Give it a go. If you think it might be your kind of film, or if you're watching all of Disney's films, give it a watch. It's not horrendous. But in general, I'm not going to walk around and recommend this film to people uh, <laughs> because it was pretty average. Definitely not a film that's really stirred any emotions in me at all. Not something I would watch again.